Okay, welcome everybody. I'm excited to have you here. It is an exciting moment for everyone. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is to uh, get to share. Let me show you, let me show you um, how to set up your account, okay? Okay, let me just share my screen again. I think the screen stopped sharing. Okay. All right. So you will type this metamask.io. Okay. If you want to set up metamask on your phone, on your device, on your Chrome, it's actually a Chrome extension on the laptop and on, I think, on the phone too. So I'm dropping the link here. Yeah, so G Martins was going to come to you. We use a device as a little of example. All right. So that's the link for those who uh, just come in here. When you come to metamask.io, you click on download. Right. So when you click on download, you see the option of Android, Chrome. Of course, we're not on Android. Um, this is an iOS device. This is, uh, this is an Apple device, but it's on Chrome. So it has picked Chrome by default. So what you do is install MetaMask for Chrome, okay? So when you click on install MetaMask for Chrome, it's gonna try, it's gonna add the extension, all right? So I already have the extension. So it's giving me the option of remove from Chrome. <laughs> I don't wanna remove from Chrome, all right? So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it add, you're gonna see it added here, all right? So we can mute ourselves if we're not talking Maybe to somebody. So. Okay, so it's just for the reason. Thank you. Now lower your hand. Cool. All right. So you just click on add to Chrome. You see something like that here. And, that, and that's all. It will prompt you to uh, put in your, you see where you're going to put in your 12 word password. Please, please ensure you write that 12 word password on multiple pieces of paper. You can put one in a secure cabinet block cut up in your office. You can keep one in your village. You can keep one securely in your home. If you have uh, a secure email, you can also keep that in your secure email. Um, please make sure nobody has access to it. Whatever email you set it up, make sure you change that email's password every 30 days or every 60 days, okay? Because hackers always penetrate email accounts. It's easily hacked. How can you protect your email account? Don't use um, Joseph123. Don't use those kind of passwords. There's a dictionary application that hackers plug into their you know, hacking interface that can test all word combinations and uh, all letters combinations that creates word and numbers. So please don't use such passwords for the email. Learn to use phrases. Use phrases like, the president of Nigeria, they suffer us. One, two, three, put dollar. <laughs> or put pound or put whatever, you know. Use phrases. Plenty suffering in Africa. How we go do, you know? <laughs> when you use that, it will take years. It will take years for a hacker to even hack into that account. But if you use um, Mary one two three, they will just crack. within seconds. The dictionary application will break into your into your email. All right. So I want this training to be as comp as comprehensive as possible, so that you you are safe. All right. So always change your password every 30 to 60 days, all right? From time to time, this will give you additional security and use phrases. Phrases makes it hackers, their dictionary file, it will take them years. And a hacker will not want to waste too much time to hack you. If it's taking too long, it's gonna leave you and go to the next person, like right? can easily crack. Um, unless they actually know that you have CIA information or some top secret information they can spend years hacking you. All right, so that is how you set up your MetaMask wallet. Uh, there's a video for you to watch here. Now, if you have a MetaMask wallet, like I have one here already, you will see, uh, 
you're going to see it's going to be here. Uh, it's going to be here. But if you don't see it here, what you can do is uh, click on extensions, all right? Click on extensions. When you click on extensions, uh, you can click on manage extensions, all right? You click on manage extensions and you're going to see, you're going to just type here for MetaMask, all right? If you're not seeing it here, just type a MetaMask extension here. Just type MetaMask, you can see. Then you just turn it on, all right? You, mine is on now. That's why I'm seeing it here. All right. So just turn it on and it's going to be here. All right. So um, that is how to get it up there in case it doesn't show up there after installation. And then the next thing you need to do or you need to know is you can pin it by right, I think right clicking. Yeah. When you right click on the icon, you can say pin. You see pin. You see it on pin now because I've pinned mine there. So when you pin it, uh, it will always be there available for you to have access to, all right? So at this point, uh, that's the first thing about setting up MetaMask. I'm gonna stop this recording now and start again for the next uh, phase of the training.